It's only in the last 15 years that lay people, ordinary people, have constituted a majority of the board of the co-op. It's a very recent phenomenon. I'm afraid that it's not been a good one in terms of outcome. But at the top of the co-op, you have a conflation of two different activities, one running a business, secondly having a social purpose. And the people who are greatly interested in the social purpose have ended up running the business. What, what is it about this board that, that you found, found so frustrating? Incompetence. All of them? Um, in aggregate, um, particularly the uh, regionally elected directors. Group. They have lost in five years half the surplus that the cooperative group accumulated over 150 years, and yet not a single director has voluntarily resigned from the board mm. or even volunteered to give up some of their fees. Mm. There's a complete denial of responsibility. Yes. To be elected to the board, you had to be seen to be a good cooperator. It's a bit like a trade union movement. You work your way up through area committees and regional boards. You were a good person. You espoused good intentions. Um, business competence and experience was not a criteria. Mm. 